Hi everyone, this is a quick FL Studio tutorial on how to apply vibrato without having a vibrato knob on your synth. Um, and even though I'm using FL Studio, you can probably do this on any DAW, I just don't know how. I'm not very experienced on other DAWs. Um, but if you know your DAW well, you can probably follow along pretty decently. First, what vibrato is, just real quick, um, let's just, we just have this synth right here steady lead and is with vibrato on it's like you have this pitch bend going so it's a pitch bend right so let's just go to pitch and put an automation clip on it LFO is turned off automatically so let's just turn it on and uh, we have to adjust three knobs on here and I'm just gonna quickly go over what they are speed is just the frequency of the wave um, so we want our speed to be at about 105 or something or no 108 we have tension uh, tension is basically the smoothness or the sharpness of our wave so if we increase tension just a little bit we're gonna smoothen out our wave from a triangle to a to a sign and if we keep going it'll just become a square but we want it at a sign because we want it as smooth as possible so let's kind of go in there and look and see what our smoothest sign could look like it looks like that is about it so about 27 percent um, and now we want to adjust the mount, which is our amplitude of our wave, um, basically just how extreme it goes. Uh, we want that at about 31, 32%. Um, and that is basically the amplitude of vibrato when it's at full strength. Um, and so this is assuming that you want full strength. If you don't want full strength or 100%, um, you can just adjust from zero to 32. That's pretty much it there. Now let's just do a very quick test um, on how this sounds. So let's just mute the automation clip right now and play it just alone. And play it with vibrato. And play it with our automation clip. Pretty close, it's pretty close. Um, if you wanna do any sort of small adjustments, um, you can do so. I'm just trying to make this a quick little tutorial right here for anyone who needs it. And I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to give an extra little tip right here, but if that's all you really needed, then you can just go ahead and click off of this video. Um, so the quick tip I wanted to give was um, if you only wanted this vibrato in a certain part of your uh, synth or to occur at a certain part of your song. So for example, if I only want this to occur in bar two, but I don't want it to occur any anywhere else, I would advise you to create a new automation clip and um, put that in the other spaces, especially afterwards, especially afterwards. Um, and I will show you why in a sec, but let me just demonstrate how this would sound with the three pieces of automation here. Steady, vibrato, steady. Now, if you don't have this one right here afterwards, this is what you'll get. And let me put it at a part where it isn't towards the middle. As you probably noticed, it didn't end on your original note, which in this case is C. It ended on probably like C sharp. You don't want that, especially if you want this note to continue after the vibrato. So what you want to do, and no matter where your automation ends, um, you'll want to have a steady automation clip afterwards that'll kind of catch it and put it back on the original note. See, it caught it there. And see, the the wave right here ends a little bit before C, before this catches it and brings it back up. It isn't the smoothest thing in the world, but then again, you are doing a workaround right now. Um, so, I mean, it isn't going to be very smooth, but you, what you could do is try as hard as you can to kind of go in and uh, find the middle of the wave, which could be here or so, and see. It, it, it'll be pretty smooth if you do it like that. But anyway, so I think that's pretty crucial to have um, the steady automation afterwards. Otherwise, it'll end on the wrong note and it'll just be a nightmare. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I wish you all the best of luck with your producing.